Hey everyone, and welcome to my re review of Mars candy bars. And let me give you a close-up, but I can't actually give you too much of a close-up because then the camera will refocus and then I'll be out of focus for the whole rest of the thing. So um, just take my word for it that this is a uh, Mars candy bar. And I um, I didn't know this, I just, I just looked it up, that... Um, actually, Mars candy bars were invented in England, and according to Wikipedia, they haven't been sold in the U.S. since 2002, so 18 years, um, except for like one year that Walmart sold them for a, for a year, but um, but that um, that stopped. So I I think that I remember seeing Mars candy bars in the U.S. in the last 20 years or 18 years. But I can't actually remember if I have or not. So, um, so, so they're available on Amazon, but the Amazon ones are all imported from England. Um, so as far as I can tell right now, they're discontinued. But I, I live in Thailand, not the U.S., so I don't know. And this, um, this Mars bar actually has Thai um, packaging. Uh, let, me, uh, let, me, uh, let me risk it um, so you can see... Um, okay. Yeah, so uh, so my uh, my camera's not focusing. I'm not um, all that um, all that great with that. But anyway, this um, this right here is in Thai. Um, so so I don't know if there's a Thai manufacturing facility in uh, a, a Mars Thai manufacturing facility, or if they make these candy bars in England and then ship them to Thailand and then wrap them up in Thailand, or if. England prints out um, Thai wrappers and then sh ships these to Thailand, or if there's like a local um, Malaysia manufacturing facility that um, prints different labels for each um, place in Asia, I, um, I don't really know. But I think this is the English version. Oh, Wikipedia also strangely said that um, the Mars company discontinued Mars candy bars in the U.S., and then... Um, and then they replaced them with Snickers almonds, but I don't ever remember Mars having almonds. Um, uh, may, uh, maybe it did, um, but I think that was like Mars with almonds. So, so uh, a little bit of history. Um, Frank Mars made the Mars Corporation. Um, that's um, and that's why it's called the Mars Bar. But um, but Mars wasn't actually invented by the Mars Corporation. Um, Frank Mars' son, Forrest Mars, got mad at his, mad at his dad, um, moved to England, and then started making candy bars in England. And so he made, um, he had an English company um, that invented the Mars candy bar. And so, so it was, um, Mars candy bars were invented in England, but they were invented by an American. And then 20 years later, um, Forrest Mars' dad, Frank Mars, died. Then he went back to America and then merged the two companies together because um, um, because he inherited his dad's company, the Mars Company. And so then finally, like the Mars Company made the Mars Bar. So, um, but um, but then like throughout the history, there's been an English version and an American version. And I, um, like I said, I don't even remember what the American version sound or tastes like or looks like. And I always thought it had dark chocolate, but uh, but this uh, this says uh, this says on the side that it's um, nougat, caramel, and milk chocolate. So it's basically like a Milky Way, but with some caramel. So let me um, let me open this and. Oh, and, and it's really, really interesting that, like, the Mars, uh, the Mars company had the Mars bar, and then they discontinued it. Um, it's, okay, so it's melted a little bit maybe because I was holding it, but here's the Mars candy bar. And, um, oh, and as... As far as I can tell from like Wikipedia, then the English version has these little grizzles on the side of it, and then the American version um, is or was like um, flat without like little drizzles of chocolate on the top. And uh, let me just take a bite of this. And 
And it does taste different than anything that I actually ever remember tasting. I don't know if it's because this is a Thai version, if it's because I've never actually tried the English version before, or if it's because it's been 20 years since I've had a Mars bar. Or maybe I was just eating Milky Ways and thought and thinking they were Mars bars. Um, but uh, um, it's it's delicious. It's it um, it looks like it's really 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 thick in chocolate, and it, um, it could be just because this is the small size, um, not the giant size. But I'm surprised with how chocolatey this um, bar actually is. Yeah, and it's really interesting that the Milky Way, which didn't get discontinued, is basic, um, basically has a ton more nougat and is very, very skimpy on the chocolate compared to this. So I don't know why the British version has, and, and I'm pretty sure that Mar... Well, actually, I don't know. My, mem my memories are 20 years old. Um, but, 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 but yeah, this is, uh, this is really good and surprisingly chocolatey. It has, um, and, and especially in Thailand, Thailand doesn't really have very much chocolate. So this could be one of the chocolatiest things that you can find in, um, uh, in Thailand. And I always hear about British chocolate versus American chocolate and how British, British chocolate is supposed to be better than American chocolate. And this doesn't actually taste like Hershey's um, chocolate. Like, I, I love Hershey's chocolate because um, it's cheap and there's a lot of it and, um, and it's pretty good. Uh, but this, this does taste like higher quality chocolate than American chocolate. So overall, uh, very delicious. I um, I would heartily recommend this to all of my Thai friends who want to actually like eat chocolate and um, and it's um, the um, the caramel. I, um, I was thinking it was gonna like taste weird and and it is pretty cara caramelly because um, I think there's the layer of caramel is actually bigger than the layer of chocolate, which is a little bit false advertising because uh, this this shows that the uh, there's only a little bit of caramel, a lot of nougat, and not very much chocolate. So uh, maybe I got a defective one that they accidentally poured like way too much chocolate in mine. But um, it was nice for me. So hopefully, um, hopefully you like this, and thanks very much.